Welcome back to another episode of Coffee and Socks. In today's video, we are going to talk about a spec which we are all interested in. But before we get started, can I please ask you guys to please drop a like on this video as well as press that amazing subscribe button. It does go a long way in supporting the channel. And let me tell you guys, we are five, yes, five subscribers away from reaching the 1,000 subscriber mark. That is amazing. You guys have literally been doing amazing. So which pack are we talking about today? CLA Colonnade Acquisition Corp. Currently going for $14.32. Today really hasn't been a good day for the majority of the stocks and for the majority of the sectors. That's why you will see a very negative day. All talks about the stimulus bill has been going on today, signing, no signing, etc. etc. So it's taking a toll in the market, but it's currently going for $14.32. Um, in the past five days, it's gone down 1.5%, even as high as $17. In one month, it was at $10.08, and then it had a spec deal merger with this other company and then it shot up 61 percent to the upside now which company did they have a merger with or which company will they have a merger with they are going to have a merger with ouster so right here ouster maker of self-driving tech agrees to 1.9 billion dollar deal to go public now, if you guys remember, uh, this is one of many LIDAR or LIDAR uh, companies to go uh, public via SPAC. Um, so the deal values the San Francisco based Ouster at around $1.9 billion and makes it the fifth LIDAR or LIDAR manufacturer this year to agree a SPAC merger to go public following on Velodyne and Luminar and Innovix and Aiva. So this company is doing amazing things if they have multiple of their own uh, manufacturing, uh, obviously manufacturers to go public via SPAC. So they are doing amazing, amazing things. A few things that we need to talk about. Um, this will result in shares of CLA, which obviously we talk about 1421. Um, to change over the new uh, it's gonna now be traded publicly with the ticker symbol of OUST um, it is valued at 1.6 billion between 1.6 and 1.9 billion um, the company will give the obviously the investment public equity will give the company 100 million dollars to work with after the merger is complete which isn't a lot of money but it's something to work with it's also worth mentioning let me zoom in for you guys. It's also worth mentioning uh, that all current Ouster shareholders will ro roll their equity over into the new company. So that's pretty good. More money, more cash. Um, when the Ouster SPAC close, its current management team will continue to lead the combined company. And we'll see what happens after uh, a certain small period. Uh, the board of directors of both companies have given their unanimous support to the deal. So long as there are no issues, CLA and Ouster are expecting the SPAC merger to close in the first half of 2021. So that is very important for us to see since it's only going for $14.21. This could be a really, really good opportunity for a lot of people to get a lot of gains since the merger will close in the first half of 2021 and it doesn't have much hype to it. Alster is a creator of litter systems that founded that was founded in 2015. And sorry if I'm saying this wrong. Uh, the company's LiDAR cameras are used in several industries. Among these are the industrial auto automation, smart infrastructure, robotics, and automotive industries. So to put that into perspective, the company's daily average trading volume is only at around 86,000 thousand shares it is not much it is not a lot of shares being moved around that was before obviously i think this came out december 22nd so a couple days ago um now it is booming it is the volume is around 1.17 million shares so i like to see 
that huge amount of volume being traded because that means a lot more people are interested in this company and in this stock here is the website for for ouster um they do work with a lot of you know big companies especially for the u.s army if it works or does anything with the government you best believe it has a lot of money that's gonna come in you know so we all like you know working for the government especially uh, for the u.s army high resolution light lighter sensors for long mid and short wrench applications uh so these are the different applications different sensors that they do have uh, fully solid state digital lidar targeting 200 plus meters range at around 10 percent reflectivity ref reflectivity sorry about that uh so this is this is ouster in in action uh as you can see it kind of uses a sensor and then it, it's almost like a sonar in a way um and it gives you an idea of what is surrounding this is very special for the car especially for all those cars ev cars that are trying to uh be more of a self-driving car this could definitely work um this could definitely be you know placed with the different companies and be bought by different companies and uh, transforming industry with high resolution lidar uh, in the automotive areas, 128 channels of resolution for ultra wide view, uh, full field view of 360 degrees. That is pretty cool. Small, smart infrastructure, build safer roads in the trucking section, robust sensors with long range and industry leading resistance to shock vibration and ingress to survive the rigors of highway speed autonomy in the industrial area. Same thing, almost the same thing as as uh, trucking and they're also in the robotics area which we're going to talk a little bit more in a little bit but you know there is tons of advantage to have this in your portfolio they are trying to do so many things and i believe uh that they will in the future now let's see in their investor presentation as you can see right here in the overview um obviously they are in that trade in that merger trade um, financing they only have around 200 million dollars cash uh, held in a trust um, in my point of view that's not too much money um, they should have a little bit more they don't currently have much revenue coming in and we'll talk about that in a second they do have 100 million coming in as a pipe and 280 million dollars cash on balance sheet expected to close uh, to funding so adding all this up it's about you know half a billion dollars so i expect it to go a little higher obviously valuation is between 1.6 to 1.9 billion dollars um so let's just go ahead and get a little bit into what they are they build digital stuff right so sensors for industrial smart infrastructure robotics and automotive so it's pretty cool that they are um, in different industries um, and they're able to tackle a lot of the problems that are happening especially you know we're going more into the robotics area more into the ev area more into the self-driving area so it's it's definitely a huge plus what they are doing especially since um, we are using more and more technology as we go into the future here we have um, the provider, multiple billion dollar markets. As we know, they're in different areas. So the markets are and able to uh, obtain a lot of money from those specific markets, right? So the from analog to digital has been a, a huge explosion towards the upside. We have exploded, as you can see right here from 2002 to 2003, we have exploded more and more into the digital area and they are trying to um, attack and join that um, as soon as they can and as fast as they can in order to get more and more and more money, right? So I want to get a little bit more into the financial that they do have. Um, before that, they do work with a lot of companies 
in these different areas like Hitachi, Cat, John Deere, Microsoft, Textron, Google, in the robotics area, they work with the US Army, Postmates, Honeywell, Amazon Robotics, even NASA, JPL. In the automotive area, BMW, Nvidia, Cruise, you know, Volkswagen and Volvo. A lot of companies that are that are able to buy a lot more of these sensors from Alster, which is pretty important to me because honestly we do have to we do have to join those companies and grab companies um, that are making a huge and big move in the future um, because that means that there's going to be more and more money coming in now if we look into the financial area they haven't been selling or they haven't really been um, having a lot of revenue coming in in everything that they do have is expected or estimated uh, which they're gonna have 19 million dollars in 2020 and then it's going to drop 15 million in one year and then it's just gonna increase dramatically at around 143 percent per year uh, maybe even more right um, I don't like this too much I don't like to present to you guys something and this company not have much uh, revenue coming in um, so I definitely, obviously I'm not a financial advisor, so I don't want to tell you guys to invest in this company. If I don't think it's good enough, do your own homework, do your own research about this company. I like it personally. I'm not going to invest in it quite yet as you know, maybe as when we get closer to, uh, the end of the first half of 2021, when the merger is supposed to happen, hopefully more catalysts come in the way and more things come in the way that boost this into um you know obviously a higher higher price than the 14 um 15 that is currently going for right now um but i will have this in my watch list because i do believe that sensors and and the ability to give robotics and and your ev cars self-driving cars and all that stuff the ability to see more and make you safer i'm definitely joining in that um bandwagon but anyways, that was today's video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Culinade Acquisition Corp. News of merger with Alster Litter or Lighter Company. Uh, definitely going to increase in price, hopefully pretty soon, especially as we get closer to the merger. Don't forget to drop a like in this video as well as press that amazing subscribe button. I know it does go a long way in supporting the channel. And I think every single one of the 995 subscribers that i do have we are five subscribers away from the 1000 subscriber mark so i thank you ahead of time and let me and drop a comment down below and let me know if you want me to talk about another company another spac something coming in etc etc i'll definitely take a look and i will see you guys next time on coffee and stocks